Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna work on how to have these two layers on the landscape where one is something like a road where we don't have the snow buildup and the other one is where we do have the snow buildup. So here you see only in the snow area that I have the snow buildup I get the landscape deformation. On the other area I don't get that. So here you see if I go to the edge I have the deformed landscape on the snow but not on the road so this looks basic as of now because I just want to sh demonstrate this concept uh, of how to have different layers with different deformation levels and it's working for all other NPC characters and player character of course uh, in addition to that if I switch to the vehicle that will also work so here you see I see deformation on the snow but not on uh, road so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my patron page once you become a member you can access all thousands of projects that I have done uh, without any limits to the date there are over 2000 videos for each video project files are available and these two playlists contains everything that I have used uh, when I am working on this uh, reactive snow system so I leave the links to those playlists as well everything is shared there so you can watch them and implement everything by yourself Right, now let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so this is what we have as of now. I have this snow surface and my character can work on it. And I get this uh, trail, the deformed path on the snow. So now, I now what I want to do is how to distinguish Snow, uh, snowy areas from other surfaces like maybe road or a rock surface where when I work on it I should not see this deformation happening on the ground okay so to do that first uh, let me select my landscape and go to the material so I have a fairly simple material here let me remove these unused parts so here we have the subsurface and the displacement is calculated here we should yeah. basically this is where the displacement part is happening and i have only one layer which is this white this snow layer so i want to add another layer so for that we can use landscape layer blend it's not landscape layer blend and here i'll add two layers uh, one is let's say what should i say hard whatever the hard surface other one is no okay now here Let's set up two simple layers. Make material attributes. This is for the hard layer. And for now, I'll go with the color. If I want this to a parameter, the base color. Oh, this should be a vector parameter. And I'll use some color like wrong so it would look more like what and these things right now I don't really need so I'll leave the default values and since I have I'm using this subsurface I'll use this color 
for subsurface color as well and I would need a similar node for the snow layer too. So let me duplicate this. And then I recreate these same lines R for occlusion, G for roughness, B for metallic. This is normal. This is subsurface. This is displacement. Now this is the main material node. So I'll here I'll enable this use material attributes. So this will become a single node with a node with single input like this, and I'll connect the output here. Now this is the snow layer, I connect to this layer snow. So this is black now because I don't have any preview weights. So if I make this preview weight one, this becomes white. Okay, now if I apply, it's all black. That's because here I don't have any painted landscape painted data. So if I go to paint, so these are layer info associated with the layers that I had before when this was a grassy landscape. So let me disconnect this. We don't have these, these layers are not relevant anymore. And click this create layers from assigned materials. Now here we have a snow and hard layer. So I'll add uh, a weight blended layer to these two layers we created. Okay, now if I select the snow and try to paint, I'll set the tool strength to one. So even if I paint, nothing seems to happen. So it's like this is not updated. If I go to sculpt, and I sculpt, let me check. Yeah, see, now it's updating. So that's why I get to see this uh, landscape now. Okay, now snow is painted everywhere. But uh, now switch to hard layer. I'll make the brush smaller. And draw something like this consider this as maybe a road so it's not good I know but this is enough to demonstrate the system so here now you see if I play I don't have the deformation landscape snow deformation anymore so why is that so the reason is here I haven't connected anything for displacement and maybe we should promote this to a named reroute declaration node. Yeah, I'll call it displacement. Okay, and then we can use it here. Displacement like this in both places here and here also i noticed there is some certain shininess in the in here so i'll in the road so i'll make the roughness like this the shininess okay and see now the deformation landscape deformation is back but it happens uniformly in both road layer and the snow layer, which is not something that I, I want. I need to avoid that. Right. So, oh. here, no. To prevent having displacement, on the road 
we can do this we can sample landscape layer is it landscape layer sample yeah this one and here i'll sample snow and use this value as the max so only in the snow i will have the displacement so if i apply this and we see see now we have this snow layer this is now built up not on the road but everywhere else so wherever i paint as the road i will not have this snow build up right now here if i walk now you see i see the deformation only on the snow layer but not on the road layer so this is exactly what i want and this is a very simple setup but you can have a very nice looking road or rock or muddy layer and create some realistic looking landscape using the same uh, concept that we used here all right and it's working for all other uh, npc characters so it should work for the Last well, let's check. Oh, wait, select the uh, record. See, it's working. Information happens only on the, the snow. All right. So, thanks for watching. As always, uh, updated project files will be available for download. Here in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.